sometimes on the Prime speedrunning Discord, I see the question asked, hey, I'm running into trouble installing the Prime Practice mod for Prime 1. I'm trying to get better at it. Or, hey, like, um, how do I install this? I'm not sure how exactly it works. Um, is it hard? And the question, or the answer, excuse me, is no. Um, it's actually really easy to do. Um, and I'm here to show you how to do it, just in case you are not sure what step you're supposed to take. So um, to start with, you need a Prime 1.0 copy. So you need to either um, rip it from your disk or get it through some other means. I'm not going to show you where. I'm not allowed to do it. It goes against YouTube's terms of service, um, pretty much any website's terms of service. It's borderline, you know, gray area in terms of legality. So I'm not going to risk it. Just... Uh, Get yourself a copy of the NTSC or, you know, North American or USA, you know, 1.00 or in mine's called 0-00. It's what's printed on the disc. Um, get yourself a 1.0 copy of the North American version of Metroid Prime, right? Um, so uh, 1.0, like Europe, also called PAL, um, and, and the Japanese versions are different. Um, they will not work here. So you need this version here. Um, that's the only real prerequisite here uh, to get started. Open up your browser, go to practice.metroidprime.run. So again, it's practice.metroidprime.run. I'll, I'll link it in the description too. Um, you're going to see this file index here of all these different versions of the Prime Practice mod. Um, so the latest version will be here on the bottom right now as of the time of this video. It's uh, version 1.2.5. So let's go ahead and click it to download it. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up or extract this file. So it's just a, your regular zip file. You can use whatever software you have, the built-in um, one in Windows, or if you have WinZip, or I use 7-Zip. I actually prefer using 7-Zip. Uh, I don't know why anyone would have WinZip in 2019, but okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and unzip that file. So we've got this folder here, Prime Practice 1.2.5. Next step is to rename your Prime ISO. So all, you're not gonna see this .iso file at the end, uh, unless you set it in the, the folder options in Windows. So if you don't, if you do not see this .iso file or this .iso extension, don't worry. It's just your setting in Windows. It's it's there in, like internally. Um, and then when I press like F2, like it's not even highlighting the, the the .iso part. So whatever your Prime ISO is named, just uh, change it to Prime. Just just Prime. So for me, it'll just say Prime .iso because again, I have you know this file extension showing by default. Um, yours will likely just say Prime. That is perfect. You want it to just say Prime. So go ahead and click and then drag it into your folder that you just extracted. And then go ahead and open that folder up. So you got all these files here. You got the prime file that you just put in here. And then I'm pretty sure most of you are going to be using Windows. So um, go ahead and double click patch.bat. And let's go ahead and it's going to start running this, uh, this extraction process. So it's going to extract the game, uh, apply its patches, and then it's going to uh, basically make a new ISO file out of what you provided. So it won't actually overwrite the vanilla prime ISO that you supplied for the program. Um, but it does it all for you. Just got to double click that dot bat, the was it patch dot bat, and it'll just do all its magic. So if you don't see this exact process running where it's extracting the your ISO file with all these, you know, different files in it, um, it could be something like, you know, your the version's wrong, or maybe your ISO file is corrupt. Um, feel free to ask me or Pootage or or even just ask around for anyone in the um, Prime Speedrun Discord. I'll, I'll link the invite link to that there in case you need to go there for assistance. But it's all done. And then you'll see here it created a new ISO with the all the practice patches installed on it. So it's called Prime Practice Mod. Um, and you're good to go. So it's you can you know easily just put this in a Dolphin or Nintendo or whatever USB loader or SD card loader you want. Um, it's re ready to go. All you have to do is just boot it up in your emulator loader of choice. Um, so go ahead, have fun, get better at the game. Um, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, um, any, anyone in like the prime hacking community, like Pootage, Aruki, et cetera, um, or even just any other speedrunner that's on the, you know, in the prime speedrun community and we'll be more than happy to help. So, um, have a great rest of your day. Good luck with the practice. And I hope to see you get some amazing times on the leaderboards. See you later.